Hello, good evening, Edwin Antonio. Hello, Christian Lorena, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. How are you tonight, Edwin? Pretty good, teacher. How about you? I'm a little sick tonight, right? I have sore throat, but I'm here, right? Very happy to be with you tonight. Hey, hello, Christian. Christina, welcome to the class. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Okay, um, no tengo la cámara encendida porque en la zona donde vivo no hay eh, luz eléctrica, ¿verdad? So I am working with uh, the hotspot of my cell phone and also I am using the battery of the laptop. So I hope we don't have any problems to finish the class of tonight. So welcome everybody. It's nice to see you tonight. Today is Monday. How was your Monday? Don't worry, teacher. We understand. Thank you so much, Edwin. How was your Monday, guys? Was it good? Was it interesting? It was a great day. Okay, you have a great start of the week. That's perfect. Okay, there are some people that they don't like Monday. And what about you? Do you like Mondays a lot? As I'm not working, I am just in my house studying by myself. I feel that Mondays is the same as the other days of the week. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's very interesting, right? Then the people who work is the people who um who say that Mondays aren't good. Yes. <laughs> Okay, that's great. So, Jennifer, welcome to the class. Carlos Dominguez, too, welcome. So, Hi, good evening. Good evening. So, tonight we are going to start working in the section number. Which section? ¿Qué section nos toca esta semana? Four. Section four. Yes, tonight we are going to start the section number four. Right? So let's start with this. I'm going to show you here the presentation and we're going to start with this. Here we go. What does she look like? That is the topic for tonight. Do you remember some adjectives to describe people? Can you describe yourself? I am uh, I am a little bit tall. I'm the tallest in my family and my skin is brown. Okay, very good adjective to say tall and also the color of your the color of your skin. That's pretty good. Anyone remembers an adjective to describe? Can you describe yourself? Tall, short, slim, fit, muscular. Don't you remember? Okay, don't worry. We are going to learn those adjectives tonight. So here we go. What does she look like? This question is, Como se ve ella físicamente. There exist two type of description. The first one is physically and the other one is emotional. So tonight we're going to start with this, the physical part, physical description. So look at this question. What does she look like? Como se mira ella? Como es ella? So welcome to the section number four. And this is the class number nine. Let's start with this. This is the lesson objective for tonight. In this session, participants will learn vocabulary for describing people in adjective of appearance. Uh, let me know, please, if you can see my screen. Yes, teacher. 
Thank you so much, Christian. Christian so here is an objective that we can use to describe uh, uh, physically to somebody. We have the hair, age, height, and look. General looks, right? So we have these hair. We have long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair, purely red hair, bald, and mustache, and beard. So talking about hair, right? Long. What is the meaning of long? Do you remember? Do you remember the meaning of this adjective? Largo. Yes. So it means long. And what about brown? What color is brown? Café. Yes, you're right. So long brown hair, cabello largo y café, and short blonde hair. What color is blonde? Rubio. Rubio. Okay, rubio. So in short, corto. Then stripe black hair. What's the meaning of stripe? Cabello Stray. largo y negro. Okay, cabello largo, negro y liso. And curly red hair. Curly, what's the meaning of curly? Rizado o rizos. Rojo, cabello okay. rizado rojo. Thank you so much, Christina. Yes. Yes, give me a second. Okay. Hair. Long brown hair. Short blonde hair. Okay, let's listen to this objective, please. So... Can you listen? Yes, teacher. Just a second, I'm going to answer these and I can see very well tonight. Okay, let's listen to this adjective. Then we have this curly red hair is cabello colocho. Then we have bald is calvo. A mustache and beard con bigote y barba. Then we have age. When to talk about age or to describe the physical appearance by age, we need young, middle age, and elderly. Then looks, como luce una persona. Then we have handsome, good looking. Pretty, handsome, good looking, and pretty. Then also for height, we have short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, and very tall. So which of these objectives describe you? Which one? Let's start with your hair. What does your hair look like? Is it long? Is it short? Is it straight? Is it curly? What does your hair look like? Any volunteer? My hair is a straight black hair. Okay, thank you so much. Any other answer? What does your hair look like? Edwin? What does your hair look like? So I have my hair is short brown hair. Okay, short brown hair. Perfect. So let's listen to this objective. Let's listen to the pronunciation of this objective. And then we're going to practice. Hair, long brown hair. Short blonde hair, straight black hair, curly red hair, bald, a mustache and a beard, 
age, young, middle-aged, elderly, looks, handsome, good-looking, pretty, height, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. Thank you very much. Then let's go to the next. This is a conversation. She is very tall. What is the meaning of that sentence? She is very tall. Ella es muy alta. Okay, excellent. She is very tall. Ella es muy alta. So let's listen to this small conversation and then we are going to practice it. Let's take a look at the objective. We are going to look for them later. So follow the reading, listening, and follow the reading, please. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes. Her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Okay, what are they talking about? De qué se trata esta conversación? What are they talking about? Can you tell me, please? About the girlfriend that is tall. Okay, yes, right. Emily and Randy are talking about Randy's new girlfriend. And he is describing her. So which adjectives can you find in this small conversation? Can you tell me some of them? Which adjectives can you find in this conversation? Very tall. Yes, yeah, that is one. Hair. That is another one. Beautiful. Beautiful is another adjective. Thank you. And any other? And let's go with the title. What is the adjective in the conversation title? New, all. New, all, yes. New, all. And also, Tall, tall, we can find them here. So we have tall, new, old, uh, gorgeous is another adjective, gorgeous. And she's gorgeous. It means very beautiful. What does she look like? She said, well, she is very tall. How tall? Que tan alta? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Is it true that um, see, we don't have to ask to a woman for her age? Is that true? ¿Es verdad que se molestan las chicas si les preguntan por su edad? No. No, not really. You say no. No es cierto. It isn't true. Then let's go with this. Can you mention some adjectives to describe Emily? Let's describe Emily. What does she look like? She has long brown hair. Yes. She is very tall. Mm -hmm. And Any other? She's pretty. Yeah, she is. Yes, she's pretty. She's pretty. What about age? She's young. She's middle age. She is old, Maybe elderly. Middle, middle age. Middle age. Okay. And what about Randy? Can you tell some sentences describing Randy? What does he look like? What does Randy look like? He's a slim. 
Oh yes, Mrs. Liam. He has a mustache. He has With... a mustache. It... Uh, hair brown brown hair he has brown hair yes okay excellent thank you so much so let's see to describe uh, the physical appearance of a person we need to use two verbs Necesitamos dos verbos para mencionar las características físicas de una persona. Which are they? Do you have an idea? We need to use... verb okay. be and have. Excellent. Thank you so much. We need the verb to be and also we need the verb to have to describe a person. So we are going to see some exercises later. Let's continue. But before to continue, I need to volunteer to practice in this conversation. I need to volunteer to practice. Who wants to try? Thank you, Carlos Vladimir. Any other volunteer? Thank you, Ana Martinez. So let's listen, Carlos and Ana. Ana, you are going to read Emily's part and Carlos Randy's part. Can you please start? Ana, can you please start the conversation, please? I hear you have a new girlfriend, girlfriend, Randy. Yes, his name is Ashley, and she's Georgia. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow. That is tall. What color is her hair? Hair. She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She wanted me. Okay, excellent. What about these last sentences? Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Carla. Perfect job. Thank you. She won't tell me what's the meaning of this sentence. She won't tell me. His future, right? Will plus not. She won't tell me. Ella no me lo dirá. So let me pr to pronounce this. Let tell me, please, to pronounce this word. Hair. Hair is the right hair. pronunciation. So in this case, what color is hair? Hair. Okay. Okay. They are um, homophone words, right? It means that they sound the same. Hair and hair. What color is her hair in this case? So you say, eh, how I am going to distinguish between these two sounds? Then it is going to depend on the context, right? So you have to pay attention to the context. What color is her hair? So what is hair? It is a positive adjective. Mm -hmm. It's a positive adjective and the other one is a noun. So what color is her hair? So you have to be careful with that. Thank you so much. Let's go with the next. General appearance. Here are another adjective to describe general appearance. Somebody use this. You say pretty. That is synonym of beautiful. So we have beautiful, pretty, elegant, cute, handsome, gorgeous, attractive, ugly, and good looking. So you say he is elegant, he is handsome, he is attractive, he is beautiful, he is pretty, he is cute, he is gorgeous. Then you say ugly, good looking, he is good looking, she is good looking. And now this adjective, this is a negative adjective, right? So it Let's see, we don't use it it's too much, it's ugly, because it's a little bit offensive. ¿Ya le han dicho feo a alguien? Yes, every day to my coworkers. <laughs> okay, but maybe as a joke when you are kidding. So that could be a ring. But de manera seria? 
dice, uy, qué feo. No, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> We didn't ah, a dog, too much. a dog, only a dog. Dog oh, okay. person. Okay, cool. Then the other one, mm, handsome is just for men and cute and pretty and beautiful for women. The other one, you can use it, right? For both. So she's elegant, he's elegant. He's gorgeous, he's gorgeous. He's attractive, she's attractive. Uh, good looking, he's good looking, she's good looking. And ugly too, right? He's ugly, she's ugly. But then you see the much. So body build, body build. So el cuerpo, and then so you say slim, thin, skinny, chubby, slender, muscular, well built, fat, and obese. Do you know the meaning of all of these adjectives? Mm. Cold. Okay, which one you don't know? Which one do you don't know? Let's see. Slender. 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 Okay, that is. It's the same as a sling, right? As the en forma, the esbelto. That is the meaning of splendor and sling. Esbelto con un buen cuerpo. Huh? And what about thin? What is the meaning of this one? Thin. Delgado. Yes, thin and skinny. Flaco. Flaco. Okay, so thin uh, is the adjective that we say if somebody in a positive way, he is thin, el es delgado. Then we say he is skinny. So we say that he is uh, está muy delgado, pero de una manera negativa. Skinny, so thin and skinny. Chavi, what is the meaning of chavi? Muy gordo. Okay, Chavi is gordito, rellenito, yes. And slender, esbelto, muscular. And well built. Es, tienen el cuerpo bien marcado, ¿no? con los músculos, el six pack, que le dicen. Okay, so that is well built. Una persona que ha entrenado su cuerpo y se mira bien, se le miran los músculos. That is muscular and well built. Now, fat and obese, those are negative adjectives too. So when you say fat, he is fat. He is fat. Fat. Gordo. gordo. Okay, you're telling Gordo. Gordo. So try not to use fat too much. Describing age. We have old, young, middle age. In his or her 20s, 40s, etc. Adult teenager. So he's adult, he's a teenager. And he is in her, sorry, he is in his 20s. He is in her 40s. He is middle age, he is middle age. Uh, you are old, he is young. So this expression is when the no sabemos exactamente, pero anda entre los 20 y los 36 in her 20. Y anda entre los 40 y 56, 40. He is in his 40. Y no decimos la edad exacta. Then let's take a look at this example. I have this example here for you. Any volunteer to read the sentences in this example? Hey, teacher. Thank you so much, Carlos. Can you please start? We then. The first question, what does he look like? Eh, ¿Lo leo todo o, o solo contesto? Solo la respuesta. Just the answer, please. Okay. She's pretty. Pretty. She's slender. O cualquiera de las dos, eh, o las dos. Okay. Then the next question is, how old is she? Okay. She's in her 20s. Mm 
the, same, the next one, how the tall is she? How tall is she? She is very tall. She is very tall. How long is her hair? It's long. Okay, perfect. So take a look at this question. Question number one, what does she look like? What does she look like? She's pretty. She's slender. The next question is, how old is she? She is in her 20s. She is 25 years old. How tall is she? She's very tall. How long is her hair? It's very long. It's long. It's short. Do you have any question in this part? No question. Okay, if you don't have any question, let's go with the next. I need to volunteer to practice in this part. Who wants to try? To volunteer? My teacher. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Any other volunteer? Who wants to help me? Me, hey, Tricia. Thank you, Christian. So, Carlos, can you please ask the question? And, Christian, can you please read the answer? What does he look like? He's elegant. He's fit. How old is he? He's in his 70s. He's old. How tall is he? He's short. How long is his hair? It's short. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Then let's see, can you please help me answering the following question here? Let's take a look at the pictures. Any volunteer to answer the first question? What does he look like? So take a look at this guy and tell me what does he look like? Teacher, sorry. Uh, Herschel need help in the group, in the chat. Okay, give me a second. Oh, okay, let me try to share it again. Okay, Harrison, I'm sorry. Let's try it again. Okay, Harrison, let me know, please, if you can see the presentation. Okay, teacher, I see Bell. Uh, okay, ¿Y los demás, todos pueden ver la presentación? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. okay, thank you so much. Okay. What does he look like is the first question. Look at the picture and tell me. He's gorgeous. Okay, thank you, he's gorgeous. Any other? Any other sentence for the first question? What does he look like? He's tall. He is tall, thank you. Any other adjective? He's gorgeous, he's tall. Is he skinny? Is he well built? Is he fat? Is he hobby? He's skinny. Skinny? Mm, but skinny. Uh, uh -huh. Very skinny. Uh, he's a slim. Okay, he's slim. Very good. Let's go with the second question. How long is his hair? How long is his hair? It's short. It's short. Okay, excellent. What color is his hair? It's black. It's black. It's black. What color is he? Oh, sorry. The next. How tall is he? How tall is he? It's very tall. He is very tall. And how old is he? 
how old is he the next question i think he is in his 20s or maybe 25 oh, okay he's in his 20s so you say he is 25 years old Thank you so much. Let's go to the next. In the next picture, I need two volunteers. One to ask the question, and another one to answer them. Okay. What does she look like? What does she look like? She's pretty. Thank you. She's pretty. What about her body build? Is she slim? Is she tall? Is she short? Is she tall? I think she is uh, chubby. Chubby. Okay, she's chubby. How long is her hair? Long. This hair is long. It's okay, long. thank you, Hosman. Thank you, Anna. What color is her hair? It's black. His hair is brown. brown. Uh -huh. I no. guess it's like she has two colors, right? It's like brown and blonde. And let's see how tall is she? How tall is she? She's tall. In the she last is one. tall. She okay. is tall. Okay, thank you so much. How old is she? That is the next question. How old is she? She is 20s. She is in her. She is in her 20s. Oh, probably, right? Like 33, 35. She is like 35 years old. Okay, very dancer. Thank you so much. So let's. Okay, everybody can see her son of nine. He's the only one. Who... Eh, oh, and Carlos. <laughs> her son and Carlos are the only one who, who has his camera. Start with teacher. Okay. Can you repeat, please? We are going to practice the subject. Team. So, what does Carlos look like? Any answer? What does Carlos look like? I can see him. Oh, you can see him. Okay. He looks like athletic. Ah, okay. She looks athletic. She's athletic. Thank you. Any other? What do you think? Is he tall is or short? He's tall. He's tall. Okay, great. Okay. Okay, then I have some picture here to you. So you are going to choose one of them and you are going to describe the problem. I'm going to share with you again the presentation. Let me know, please, if you can see it. Okay, I have here these one, two, three, four, five people. So choose one. Let me know, please, if you are ready. You have to choose one of them. Let's go hang out one of the ellos, please. Let's see. Anna, which one did you choose? Okay. 
Hello, Ana. Which one did you choose? Ana, tell me. Hola, teacher, perdón. Um, ¿A cuál de ellos escogió, Ana? You eh, have to choose al, one of them. Hay al muchacho de... Al, boy, eh, a él, a él. Ah, <laughs> ok. Ok, that's great. This one. Carlos Vladimir, which one did you choose? The, the Finnish Miss. This one? No. The Miss uh, Blue Jacket. It, yes. Blue. Oh, she. She. Okay, excellent. Let's see. Anybody? Christian, which one did you choose? Uh, the girl with a green pants. The girl that has that has tennis. Ah, okay, okay. She. Yes, she. Okay, thank you, Gerson. Which one did you choose? El, el de la de, que tiene zapato blanco, la. Sí. Sí, ella. But, okay, I hope that everybody has chosen somebody. Eh, espero que todos hayan escogido a alguien de estas personas, right? So we are going to go to the breakout rooms and you have to share the description. So take a minute. Look up then. Observenos bien. Which objectives can you use to describe them? To describe the boys and also the girl. So let me know if you're ready, please. Are you ready? Ya están listos? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes, okay, teacher. Then. Let's go to the breakout room. Don't forget this person, right? Because you are going to describe him or her. So here we go. So you see he and she, right? He has short hair. He is tall. He is short. He is is slim, he is beautiful, he is cute. So use the adjective to describe one of these persons. I hope that you are ready, guys. Here we go. Okay, let's see. We're going to make four groups. Bueno, les va a llegar la invitación para que se puedan unir a los vacant rooms and share the description of the person that you have already taken from the pictures to your classmate, please. Here we okay. go.
Okay. Black, black hair. Not much. Hello. Okay. Hello, Hoffman. Hello, Carlos. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Okay, Carlos, who are you describing? Tell me, please. Don't don't tell me. Just tell me the answer. And I'm going to try to guess. Okay. Uh, this is the, the blue jacket. She, uh, the gear blue jacket. Um, okay. She is wearing, she is wearing okay. a blue jacket. She's elegant and attractive. She's elegant she's and attractive. Okay, she's attractive. She's tall. Okay, she's tall. She, she's 20s. She and has black 20s. And the hair 20s. Uh, and black hair. He has, he has black hair. He has, he has black hair. He has okay. black hair. That's it, teacher. See, okay, is he tall or short? What do you think? He's tall. tall short. He's tall. Okay, and Hotman, can you please tell me the adjective? Okay, this a uh, a voice the blue uh, blue chair. Uh, here is a uh, tall. Uh, his hair is short. Uh, her her hair is black. Her is a uh, elegant. And her is tall. Mm. He here's here is a, a slider. Finish mm. no more. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much. Very good sentences. Okay, listen. So you have to use the verb to be and the verb to have to describe a person. So you say he is elegant. This is a sentence. He is elegant. L -S -L -E. He is elegant. And that is a great sentence. So you say he has. He has. El tiene. He has. For example, el cabello. You say he has short hair. He has short hair. Then you say he is he is wearing es para decir lo que ellos andan utilizando utilizamos esta hora es la ropa verdad que andan puesto cómo andan vestidos he is wearing or she is wearing he is wearing let's see brown shoes qué más andan utilizando este chico brown shoes eh, blue pants blue pants and light blue, light blue shirt. Okay, and then we have the sentences here. I'm going okay. to here. So, wedding, he is wedding. You describe what they are wedding. Okay, thank you so much. Very good sentences. Thank ok, eh, podemos describir uno más. Vamos a ir diciendo una oración cada uno, ¿de acuerdo? I'm going to point this here. Just give me a second. I'm going to write all the sentences. Ok, she. Let's describe her. Vamos a ir una oración cada uno. ¿Quién quiere comenzar? Who wants to start? I started, teacher. Ok, thank you, Carlos. Do it. Okay. She is black color. 
Okay, they, she has brunette skin. She has brunette skin. She is, uh, she is wearing white shoes. Okay, she's wearing white shoes, but wait, wait, Carlos, it's husband's horn. Okay. Uh, he's a... Uh, a tall... Osman, he or she? Here. She, she uh, is. She is, okay. Ah, okay. Ah, bueno, había visto otra persona. No sé si era la misma. Ah, okay. No, I'm pointing here with this. Can you see okay. the red color there? Okay. The, the color pants is green. Ah, okay. Then you say she is wearing, she is wearing, She's green wearing... pants, green pants. Green pants. Um, his hair is long. Okay. Eh, podemos decirlo así. Her hair is long. Her hair, is long. hair is long. O podemos decirlo con el verbo to have. She has long She has... hair. She has long hair. Okay. Continúen diciendo una oración cada uno, please. We are going to finish this in a second. Carlos, es su turno. Una oración describiendo la misma chica, please. Ok. How do you say colocha in Spanish? Oh, curly in English. Curly. Curly, ok. Is this um... adjective curly? Curly. Okay. Uh, she is curly hair. Oh, she has. She has. She curly. Ha. She has. She, she has curly hair. Hair. Yeah. Hair. Okay, Josué, okay. it's your uh, turn. Bye. Continue. En una oración cada uno. Los veo en un momento con sus compañeros. You are doing a very good job. Okay, teacher. Hello, Cristina. Welcome again. Thank you, teacher. Did you finish your practice with your classmate? Sí, teacher. Eh, practiqué igual, pero por error me salí de la, de la, de la sala. I'm okay, no problem. Pero, pero sí practicamos. Great, I'm going to finish this activity. Yes. We are going to wait for your classmate. They are coming. Okay. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, Christian. Hello, Osmin. Welcome again. Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay, yes, they're gone. Okay. Bueno, finalmente regresó la luz, right? Okay, thank you so much, guys, for your practice. Did you finish? Terminaron? Osmin, Eulise, Ingrid, Vanessa, did you finish your practice? Yes, yes teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok, great. So, let's see. Um, estuve en un grupo trabajando con Josman y Vladimir y they have these questions, right? ¿Cómo describir lo que andan usando las personas? Ok, ¿cómo lo hacemos? ¿Alguien tiene alguna idea? Vamos a utilizar la siguiente frase. She is wearing. She is wearing. Oh, he is wearing. Y empezamos a describir lo que ellos están usando. Veamos, por ejemplo, el chico que está en medio de la foto. En medio de ellos cinco. Sería... Ah, por... Bueno, sí, sure. yes. sí. Sí, por ejemplo, con... Creo que fue con Ingrid y, y Cristina, creo que fue. Estuvimos describiendo las prendas que ellos estaban usando, utilizando. 
Ah, muy bien, that is good. Esa es otra manera ¿verdad? de describir a una persona. Si queremos encontrar a alguien, decimos, ah, oh, he is wearing blue jeans, he is wearing a black shirt, he is wearing a, a watch, he is wearing white shoes, and so on, right? So he is wearing and he is wearing. So let's describe what is he wearing. What is he wearing? El chico de en medio. Tell me, what is he wearing? Cualquiera puede contestar. Yes, yes. Yes. Anyone? He is, he is, ah. Okay. First, Ingrid. Vamos a ir una oración cada uno. Ingrid, usted primero. Luego, Cristian. Vamos, Ingrid. Do it, please. He is wearing a yellow sweater. Yes, he's wearing a yellow sweater. Thank you, Cristian. He is wearing a light blue t-shirt behind the, no, under the blue, the yellow sweater. And he's wearing blue jeans and white shoes. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. So shirt, he's wearing a light blue shirt. Una camisa. Okay, that's great. So let's go to the next picture. I have the last picture here for you. Y todos vamos a decir una oración para describir a las personas que están en ella. So. Okay. So let's start with this guy. Osmi, tell me a sentence, please. Okay, teacher. The first person is using a, a gray gray pants. Okay, good sentence. Thank you. But he is wearing he is wearing gray pants. Can you say the sentence again, please, me? He is wearing gray pants. Osmin, can you please? Repeat, teacher, please. He is wearing gray pants. Can you say the sentence? He is wearing gray pants. Perfect sentence now. Thank you so much. Any other sentence to describe this person? He is wearing a great um, how do you say chaqueta or, or saco? Jacket. Jacket. Okay. He's wearing a gray jacket. Okay, excellent. Our physical appearance, the su apariencia física. Let's use an adjective that we have been studying during this class to describe him. He's tall, he's in he's slim. Okay, he's tall, he's slim. Okay. He has a uh, brown hair, short brown hair. Okay, excellent. He has brown, short brown hair. Short yeah. brown hair. Okay. And he looks like happy. Okay, he's happy, he's happy. He's happy. Perfect, let's go with hair. Can you say some sentences for describing her physical appearance? Any volunteer? I have just Osmin and Cristina. Solo han participado Osmin y Cristina. Vamos, una oración cada uno. Anybody? Her hair is curly. Okay, thank you so much, Ingrid. Any other sentence to describe her? Thank you, Herson. Eh, no veo la pantalla, teacher. Ah, okay, Pero, okay. Eh, eh, escribí, en el cuaderno escribí dos descripciones de la persona que escogí. Eh, una es, she is short while she is very tall. Okay, good sentences. Thank you. Good sentences. Um, I don't know what is happening. 
¿Los demás sí pueden ver la pantalla? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Gerson, can you see it now? Yes, teacher. Ahora sí puedo ver la pantalla. Ok, great. So let's continue describing the physical appearance of this person. When you say she is, he has, or she and is she, wearing. She is wearing a brown jacket. Thank you so much. I will say she is wearing a brown jacket. Yes, that is a good sentence. Any anybody? Anybody she, has a sentence? She wears short hair. She has short hair. She has short hair. Thank you, Anna. Excellent sentence. I have now Ingrid, Anna, and Eulise. Any other? Tiene sentence. I just has a She is tall. Thank you, Husman. She is tall. That is a good sentence. Thank you. She is tall. Perfect sentence. Thank you. Now I have Hosman too. Any other volunteer? One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six and we are 11 people She's here. She's wearing glasses. Excellent. She's wearing glasses. Very good sentence. Doble participación para los needs. Thank you. Anybody? Anybody? Tell me sentences. Describe this here, please. She's wearing a black pants. She's wearing a black pants. Great sentence. Thank you. She's wearing black pants. She has, she has short hair. Curly hair. She has short hair. Thank you, Josman. And Carlos, he has curly hair. Yes. Let's change people. Let's go with hair. Let's go with hair. Is she tall? Yes, she is. No, she isn't. She isn't. She is tall. She is short. Yes, she is. Mm, yes, she is. She is tall. Probably mm -hmm. she is tall. Okay, so do you have any question about tonight class? Question? Okay, guys, for tomorrow, for tomorrow, you are going to describe yourself, right? At the beginning of the class, you are going to describe yourself. So get prepared with the sentence, right? So it is the objective that we have been studying tonight and prepare your description, right? Okay, okay. you are going to describe yourself. Is description of my person? Yes, yes, you are going to describe yourself here with okay. your classmates, okay? So get prepared for tomorrow. If, if you, you don't have any teacher. other questions, thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you, teacher. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Good night.